Good afternoon. Um, I thought I'd quickly just do this because it's been sat here for a um, couple of weeks because this is a Sunday car boot sale haul, but from a couple of weeks ago, and um, I've just forgotten to, to show you guys it. So, I'm going to start off with a couple of boxes. This is from when I went to, yeah, it's, there's a carriage car boot sale on a Sunday afternoon from about one o'clock, I think. Got both of these things from the same lady. I paid fifteen pounds altogether for them. Um, so in here, as you can see, money. Um, looks like it's been worn a couple of times, but still in nice condition. Got all of its stones. Just this little faux pearl bracelet with original packaging. So that's okay. Um, but then this is a nice bit of kit heath. Sterling silver in its box, never been used. Apparently it had been bought as a bridesmaid's like present. But yeah, I mean, it's not like the the greatest example of Kit Heath. He does some really nice um, like Celtic stuff, but it's still nice and pretty in its box. Someone might like that as a Christmas gift perhaps. Obviously I'll have to take the sticker off and stuff, but here we go, right. So this is the other lot of stuff that I bought from someone else. They just had all of this on a plate. And I was like, how much do you want for all of the jewelry? She said eight quid. And I'm like, yeah, go on then. Because there was a couple of bits in there that I spotted. And I was like, oh, they look quite nice. I can sell them. So let me start pulling some bits out. So this is quite a nice string of beads with a little AB coating on them, but they'll probably go into a vintage jewelry lot. And there's this one, probably the same. It might go into a two kilogram lot. Um, I'm not sure if it's vintage. I can't see a clasp on it. I suppose by the style of chain, it does look a bit vintage. So again, that'll probably go into vintage lot. Here's some more glass beads that will probably end up in a two kilo lot. If I can get them out. So like this one, it's quite modern. Statement necklace. Like so. But yeah, that'll probably go into two kilos. And then this glass beaded lot as well. It sounds like I've just got a delivery coming. I'm listening to Nemo's Dreamscapes again, by the way. Thanks, Mum. Yeah, I've got delivery. Just a no. Okay, thank you. Um, and that'll go into two kilos. I've got some faux pearls. That'll go into a pearly lot. They're a bit mucky as well. Ew. All right, got a couple of little sparkly bits uh like european charms i've got a european charm lot on the go so that will go in there i think uh, my delivery has just been um, a pair of jeans so that's exciting and um, this is something i can sell i can always sell just like a chunky gold colored chain necklace and um, they sell all year round pretty much because they look good with you know holiday outfits or with like a little black dress or with a t-shirt and stuff so that is something they can sell individually. I'll put that there. We are getting to the exciting stuff, trust me. Um, this is a cute little vintage one. Again, with like AB crystal beads. So that'll go into the vintage lot. Right, let's show you some of these earrings and bits. Oh, there's another charm bead there. Right, so they're rather fab earrings, aren't they? Thankfully, they are also signed inside, and they are signed Joan Rivers. So that's a nice little find in there. That pays for the lot for sure anyway, just on its own with them. So they're rather lovely. Almost kind of um, Moroccan inspired as well, like North African inspired with the colors and the pattern. So quite like that. This is one of those things where you can um, wrap around like pearl necklaces, like long pearl necklaces and turn it into a shorter pearl one. 
Um, so that is also a Joan Rivers beer made in Korea. But yeah, Joan Rivers. So that's cool. Have we got the matched cat earring? We've got that one. So we've got some little heart and faux pearls. I don't think. No, they're not signed. That's a shame, but I should imagine that might, no. There is a pair of Joan Rivers ones where like these things come off and you can interchange them, I think. But I don't know if these are like Joan Rivers or QVC or anyone like that. But I mean, they're cute. I might sell them just as they are because they're quite nice. Just a plain old chain that needs a pendant. It's not gold. Definitely not gold. But I'll probably go into a vintage lot. This is quite a nice set. Again, like AB Crystal Beads, but this is one of the ones that's like a, a rope, or I suppose, is it Lariat? I can never remember which one it is. Um, but you sort of can just have it dangling down around your neck, or you can tie it a bit like a scarf. It is quite pretty and a bit unusual, so I might sell that one on its own. So that's cool. We've got like three little things to sell there. Or oh, four, really, five. With the Joan River stuff. Right. Just a random pair of earrings. Oh no, they're not even a pair. Well, oh, we'll put them there for now. Hopefully we might pair them up. This little sort of uh, deco inspired, but probably 1950s, just like glass. Well, a pretty scalloped necklace. That'll go into a vintage lot. Another odd earring. That's maybe silver? No. Right. We've got another bit of Joan Rivers here. <coughs> so this is what I mean by like the ball comes off. You can change them, but I've only got one of the balls it looks like. But there we go, turquoise coloured Joan Rivers. So we've got a little pile of Joan Rivers going on there. That's lovely. This isn't signed, I can see, but lovely green bracelet there. Again, that'll be super nice for Christmas, won't it? Lovely colour, so that is something I can sell. Got another bracelet here with all these AB crystals in. It's a tennis style bracelet. It is not signed. It's not gold or anything, but it might be gold plated. But that's rather lovely, isn't it? So that's something that I can sell as well. And we've got this crazy one. This one's got all its stones by the looks of it as well. Very unusual, kind of like, I don't know. They almost look a bit like flip-flops, don't they? Weird. Um, again, unsigned. It's not gold or silver or anything. But still quite nice. So that's something I can sell. I'm doing well on my eight quid, aren't I? Very well. I've got this, which looks like it might be silver beaded with possibly turquoise. I shall have to test that. It does look silver though, and it feels like silver. So it's slightly southwestern in style. So that's quite nice. I reckon that probably is silver. That's cool. We've got this one. This isn't silver. Um, unusual shapes look like a little fish or something, but that'll go into the vintage lot. Right. Let's get some December one. This is one of the first things that I saw in there. I was like, oh, I quite like that because it's got like all the sparkly moons and stars and things on it. Um, and I think, did I, I'm pretty sure I saw a signature somewhere on here. Or did I dream it? No, there it is. It is Kirk's Polly. So that is a nice um, like brand as well. Again, it's like a QVC kind of brand, but people love them, people collect them, and especially when there's things like the stars and the moons and stuff. It's quite nice. Let's pull out another necklace. Here we go. So we've got another one here. 
like a little caged ball thing. Um, again, is this signed yet? This is another Joan Rivers. It's got a little clippy bit on there as well that you can take that off and have it dangle like that or you can put that back on and have it almost like a bolo so it goes up and down and sort of reduces the, the length of the necklace of the, you know what I mean, of the drop, sort of like that. I'm presuming that this will probably open and you could change, yep, so you could change around like the bead that's inside but I don't have any of the other beads, never mind, but there we go. Still, that's the fourth Joan Rivers bit, so that's cool. We've got a very cute little bezel set crystal necklace that is actually swan signed, so that is Swarovski. So, those are Swarovski crystals, but it's actually also made by Swarovski as well. When you're listing things that are not made by Swarovski but have Swarovski crystals that you have to have in the title made with Swarovski. You can't just have Swarovski in the title. So there you go. That's nice. I like bezel set stuff. Okay, we'll pull out another necklace. Again, this looks to be signed. Um, it's just a long chain. I don't know if it's meant to have a charm on it or something. But again, this is... Kirk's Folly, slightly different signature there, it's a nice chain, kind of like an adaptation of a Figaro chain maybe, so there we go, bit of Kirk's Folly there, and then we've got this one which I don't think I saw a signature on, um, it's probably gold plated, it is not gold unfortunately, that would have been nice. Can't see anything on there. Would have been on there if it was, but that'll go into a two kilogram lot. Got another signed bit. So this is signed. Can't quite see that one actually. Um, it is signed. Puccini. P U C C I N I. Puccini. There we go. And there's also a signature on the back there. So, oh, look at that. So it's a pill with like a little heart shaped emblem at the top. There we go, another nice bit of costume jewelry to sell with a name on it, always good. We've still got more, we've got more. It looks like I've got a multi-chain thing. So this multi-strand chain with these faux pearl stations, but I'll probably put that into vintage lot got another necklace i've got these little faux pearl dangles and crystals that'll go into a vintage lot i could sell them separately they are nice it's just that i've got enough <laughs> another just plain chain with no um thing on it no pendant, so and it's not named, so it's not something that I would probably sell separately. Another just plain little chain. Go in a vintage lot. This weird cuby thing going on. What's that? Is this a multi strand or it's just got itself confused with this one? Like you are two separate necklaces, please do let go. I undo you. I mean, obviously, we'd love for this Figaro chain to be gold, but most likely it's not. It's just very tangled, and I'm probably making it worse. Yes, this Nemo's Dreamscapes we're listening to is a special Halloween one. Right, there you go, that's come out. Mm, can't see any marks on the chain. It's a nice Figaro chain. Um, so it's probably gold plated. But there's no marks on there. It doesn't really feel like gold. It doesn't feel buttery like gold. It's nice, it'll go into a vintage lot. Got 
Um, this is quite cute. Do you signed? Don't think so. It's an unsigned piece, but that's quite cute with the flowers, isn't it? The little green flowers. I like the little dangle off the bottom. So that is probably something that I'll try and sell because it's something a bit different. Oh, we didn't look at that one, did we? Don't think this is signed. That would probably go through there and then dangle down like that. That'll go into a two kilo lot. And then we've got one last necklace, which is this one, little stars and these little bow type things. Again, it's signed and it is signed Kirk's Folly. So I've got one, two, three bits of Kirk Folly, this Puccini, Swarovski, um, one, two, three, four, say three bits really, of Joan Rivers, and then a bunch of just nice costume jewellery to sell, and some odd bits and bits for job lots. So I think I've done quite well off of that. Go team Lex, hooray, not bad for eight pounds at all. So if there's anything here you fancy, I think I might actually be listing these ones tonight. So they might actually be on auction. Um, yeah, starting tonight. So might as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I can definitely do 10 nice auctions tonight of these things anyway. Maybe the Monet as well. So yeah, cracking stuff. If there is anything here you do fancy, either check out my eBay or email me on the email address that's underneath this video. And um, yeah, we'll see if we can sort something out. Okay, until next time, bye-bye now, bye-bye.